Nice. Tasty. What's up everybody, Ro back with another video and today I want to show you something just two days after my first mow on the parkway strip. I am so pumped up. I want to show you this. It's some would say it's an unnecessary video, but to me, to me, I want to show you guys the results of what happened with those purple leaf blades. It just popped, especially with the heat we're having. It's 106 right now. It's ridiculous. And tomorrow's gonna be 111, probably 115 because it keeps changing <sighs> stay tuned everybody let me show you exactly my results of two days after just putting Scott starter fertilizer with high phosphorus does to a little section that looks a little bold and just a quick little warning don't go throwing Scott starter fertilizer everywhere all crazy I'm just throwing this down here because of the purple leaf plates and that's the only fertilizer I have right now that has high phosphorus and it does the job but the whole meaning of most of my videos is to show you guys, all you homeowners out there, that it can be done with inexpensive products at your box store with great results. Of course you can get better results. Of course you can get a lot of other stuff done on the yard, but this looks good with only the bare minimum of products I have put down so far. So let's take a look. Let me walk you through it. Let me show you, okay? Let's get this going. So get excited like I'm excited about showing you guys this little section for you. All right, let's go. All right, everybody, take a look. Look at that. Look at that. No editing, no filter. This is dark, 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 dark. Just how everybody likes their lawn. You see that? After taking this down to the lowest setting of three fourths, and now it's starting to fill back up. It's starting to get that color. Remember, it was a lot more yellow than that here. You can actually see the greening happening here. Let me take you out into the sun so you can see it. Look at that. Now this is the part that I want to talk to you all about. Remember this? I'll put a clip up here and show you exactly what I'm talking about. And what I'm saying is, if you remember here, y'all remember all those little spots with the purple leaf blades. And look at it now. What's the day here? Can you guys see it? Look at that. Friday the 4th. That means three, two, three, four. Two days, everybody. Just two days. Yeah, because if you remember the sign that was there, they were going to work on the street. And that was the third. And I wanted to get the mow in before. So that was the second. Today's the fourth. So it's two days since I applied the high phosphorus. And the growth is looking really, really, really good. We have really good germination. And it's super hot right now. It's about 106. It was 111 earlier today. And it is doing really well. And like I said, let me pull back up so you can see those spots that were here. They're not there. Let me see if I could put up another video clip or image up top so you can see like how bad it looked. And that was where I was explaining like, oh, if it looks bare, it's not. It's the purple leaf blades. So it's not because of cool weather. It's because of the fertilizer washing out of it being low phosphorus. And sure enough. Look at that, two days later, all green. Look how much filled in it is. Look at that. See that? Really good, everybody, really good. 
Now we got a new date here. It's gonna start next week. Nine eight and nine nine. Yep. Look at that. Now with those dates that are there, so apparently the people that did the street here, they screwed it all up. It was way too high. It was done incorrectly. So now they gotta dig this all out again. So that's gonna be fun. And I'm not happy about that because I've made so much progress here. Let me show you a shot over here. So yeah, more problems everybody. What's new? Look at that. All right, everybody. So with all this going on, I can say this is another 100% success here. This is pretty much 100% filled in here. Just got to work on all this leveling later on in the season. But next two days, mm, 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 it's going to be nice and filled in and maybe get a cut on Monday because they will be back. I think that said the 8th. So that's going to be Tuesday, I believe. So maybe I'll get a cut in before they come so I can, you know, dominate. But yeah, they're going to dig up all the black stuff because they got to lower it now because apparently it's too high. So that's the issue with that because they went too low with the curbing. That's funny because I had my curbing too low. So it makes sense now. Somebody didn't do their job. If you're wondering why there's no visible weeds besides the little you know crabgrass trying to work its way here because I can catch them early is because I hand pull them all all of them I haven't hit this with any herbicide not even at seeding I did I didn't do it at all this is all just seed and your basic topper feeding watering and that's it I didn't hit it with no herbicides and I'm trying to see how far I can get it without hitting it with the herbicide. But what I will do is be putting down a pre-emergent. That is very important. And so far I have kept most of all the weeds out. Well, I haven't kept them out because my hand's pulling them out. <laughs> but I will say there was a lot if I wouldn't have been hand pulling them. But yeah, that's the other thing I want everybody to know. What I love about Bermuda, especially like a hybrid seed, being that the, the leaf blades are so fine and thin, is that when you got a weed, that sucker stands out. See that? All those weeds came from that topper for sure because this is where I put the topper recently and now I got a little bit of weeds there, but I hand pull them when I see them. So as soon as I'm done recording here, I will be plucking, 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 plucking. Pluck the weeds. Get out of here. Even when I'm recording, you'll see me say, look at weed, get out of here. All right, everybody. Let me give you a little demonstration. So you just get up in here. See that? Get down. And pull it out by the root. And I got grass too, but who cares get down pull it out look at that roots see that another one pinch pull roots and that's it that's how you do it so that's what I'm gonna continue to do look at they stand out that's not Bermuda that's the best thing about it is you can pinpoint all the weeds all right everybody that's enough with how pumped i am about this section here what i used here was the starter the scott starter fertilizer because it is very high in phosphorus and that's how i was able to get rid of all the purple leaf blades here i didn't use anything else whatsoever it could have only been two things possibly maybe more but the two main common things is cold weather 
and low phosphorus. Those are the two most important ones that usually ends up happening while growing Bermuda is that if it gets hit with cold weather, it will purple out. If it gets hit with not enough phosphorus, it will purple out and that's why we dosed it with the high phosphorus uh, starter fertilizer which Scott's has their starter fertilizer with a lot of phosphorus in it which I believe it's a 25 24 4 so it is also high in nitrogen which I wanted to ex throw down that extra nitrogen anyways because it is Bermuda and it won't hurt it and the heat it's burning right now 106 and tomorrow will be 115 here in California and this will thrive but everybody just take a look at that I am so pumped right now and I want to share this with you but no more purple leaf blades look at that this is all gonna fill in really good first mow in patches here threw down phosphorus two days later look at that that fill in that green that color right there Come on everybody, get out there, work on your lawns. It can be done. Let's make everybody's lawns green again. Let's do this together. And like always, keep mowing and growing and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. I got home today and as I was pulling up, I was like, what? Man, that girl's is bopping. <laughs> I sound like a goat. <laughs> or a sheep. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that? Oh, look, my fingers are in the camera. <laughs> look at that, you guys. I haven't even posted the other two. Well, I did post the video today. I didn't post the one of the results after the phosphorus that I put here but look at this you guys it's 112 and it's barely 12 o'clock but look at that dominating here in the heat look at that over there oh man I gotta work on this whole block ah oh, dude what do you think long day at work yes Think of my grass. Of our grass, actually. You think of our grass. It's popping a lot. Yeah, it's popping. Yeah. It looks good, huh? We just got back from work, busting our butts, nice and early. At least we're done at 12. Got up early. We didn't even make it in the driveway. We're already filming, everybody. Look at those results, everybody. I was all bald. It looked like it was aging, <laughs> losing its hair. <laughs> but I told you, threw down some phosphorus, got rid of those purple leaf plates in the matter of what is it now? A couple of days. Uh, I guess I don't know. I'll put up on the screen how many days it is since I applied the. Start a fertilizer with high phosphorus to address this issue because when I did do the video you will see before this one it was a I think two days after so this is probably gonna be what two days after that so three or four days I don't know I'm so behind on videos right now but at least these two these three last videos at least are on track so you guys will probably see this video Monday all right everybody like always, keep mowing and growing. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Close it up.